Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at FC Kerbeck Aston Martin in Palmyra, New Jersey to check out this gorgeous 2023 Aston Martin Vantage F1 edition in Aston Martin Racing Green. We're going to check out this super sports car, see what it's bringing to this ultra high-end vehicle market. So let's dig in. All right, the front end of this Vantage, we are low to the ground in this sports car. The Aston Martin Racing Green right here. We have our satin racing stripe that gets right up the center of the hood looking good. The Aston Martin badge on the F1 Racing Edition is carbon fiber, huge front grille, gloss black, gloss black front splitter, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn signals, LED fog lamps, and we have functional carbon fiber heat extractors that come up on the top of the hood to get all of that heat out of the engine bay. It's a wicked looking front end here on this Vantage F1 edition. All right, taking a look at this Vantage with the doors open. Now, the Aston Martin makes swan doors. And as you can see, those doors flare upwards when they're open. And I'll move around so you can see what I mean. So it doesn't hit the curb when you get out. And it helps you get out easier and Aston Martin calls them swan doors, which I think look really, really cool, especially when the vehicle is open. Let me know what you guys think. All right. Wheel and tire setup on this Vantage F1 edition. We have a 21 inch aluminum alloy wheel, all satin black. Aston Martin badge on the center cap. We have huge ventilated two piece rotors dissipate heat along with those huge Aston Martin brake calipers that are in lime green that say Aston Martin on them. Now these 21 inch wheels up front are wrapped in Pirelli P0 summer tires, 255 on the width of 35 series sidewall 21s. But out back on this rear wheel drive car, we have tires 295 on the width, a 30 series sidewall 21s. Also, Pirelli P0 action all around, but massive rear wheel drive. And that's why we see those wider tires in the back. We got to get all of this horsepower to the ground. Full side profile on this Vantage F1. Again, the Aston Martin Racing Green, great color. We have carbon fiber vents on the front fender with the F1 call out. Looking beautiful. Hard body lines coming across the door and into the rear haunch. Great sense of movement in this Aston Martin. Now that, that sloped roof up top going back into the trunk area with the rear wing, it just looks gorgeous. All right, moving in closer, we have a carbon fiber F1 vent right here to get that heat out of the engine. Looking beautiful. Look at that carbon fiber. Just gorgeous with that F1 edition badge. Side view mirrors, carbon fiber again. LED turn signals, 360 degree view cameras. Aston Martin door handles are flat and they've always been that way. Just push it in, and it comes out that way, and then boom, you can open the door. And if you lose battery, the key is right behind there, so you can open the door if, for some reason, your battery goes dead because you don't have it plugged into a tender while it's in the garage. Now, up top, there's that big, big wing here in the back. We'll go over that later. Up top, the reason why there's no sunroof, number one, you put this on the track, you got to have a carbon fiber roof like this one has. Why? You take the weight off the top of the car to lower the center, center of gravity to increase your downforce on the track so you don't flip this thing over. And that's why we have this carbon fiber roof. Rear end of the Vantage F1, look at this wing. This is gloss black, gorgeous wing, looking beautiful. The racing stripe comes right across the roof and onto the deck lid, the carbon fiber Aston Martin badge here with Aston and Martin in red script down below. We have that Aston Martin Racing Green all the way down with some gloss black down below. Looks good. LED taillights, LED turn signals, and then we have a quad tip exhaust. Fully functional, looking stunning. Let's hear, see how this baby's going to sound. All 
right, we're under the hood of this Aston Martin Vantage F1 Edition. And what are we looking at? We have a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission, 527 horsepower, 505 pound-feet of torque, MPGs, 18 in the city, 24 on the highway, 20 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 93. So you'll need to use super unleaded gas. And we also, look at this, look at the strut tower bracing. Not only does it connect from one strut tower to the other, it then doubles back and connects into the frame of the car to stiffen this thing up for those tight turns on the track. Beautiful looking engine bay. All right, before we get into the interior of this Vantage F1 edition, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this beauty cost? Well, base price for the Vantage F1 edition is $175,200. This vehicle has some options. You have to add in $2,300 for the Aston Martin Premium Audio, an extra $1,200 for the Lime Brake Calipers, an extra $2,000 for the Headliner in Contemporary Alcantara, we have to add an additional $900 for the rear diffuser inserts, body colored, and an extra $4,800 for the interior package, 2 by till 12 S carbon fiber, which is poured all over the interior of this vehicle. Then we have to add in destination and delivery of $3,086 from Aston Martin's Gaydon Warwickshire United Kingdom Assembly Plant and we have a total MSRP for this Vantage F1 Coupe, $189,486. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator with some aluminum trim. We do have the carpeted floor mats in here that are all black. Then we have our door sill plate that says Aston Martin F1 edition to welcome you to the vehicle. Just gorgeous. And now, of course, we have racing seats here, the Aston Martin racing buckets, leather with Alcantara inserts, with the lime green stitching, all one piece, looking beautiful. Aston Martin embroidered into the seats with that racing stripe, just looks stunning. Door panel, looking beautiful. Again, black leather, lime green stitching, Alcantara insert, carbon fiber on the insert grab handle for when you're going down the track and your passenger needs to hold on. Just stunning. A pretty good sized door pocket considering this is a sports car for the track. Flat black on the switch gear. Again, we got the premium audio and look, even around your heat and air vents, it's carbon fiber. They got carbon fiber everywhere in here. On the dash though, we have leather, more Alcantara underneath. Just absolutely stunning. All right, infotainment. Now, this is not Aston Martin strong suit, but in a car like this, where most likely the people who buy this are going to put it on the track, may not be all that necessary. Let me know what you guys think. But we're going to start off with this Aston Martin 8-inch infotainment system, where we have our navigation. Doesn't look half bad, right? Not too bad. And then we can go back to our home. We can go to our radio. We got <clears throat> Sirius XM and our HD radio. We can go and check out our media, where we can connect up our phone via Bluetooth. And we do have wireless Apple, Car, Apple CarPlay with Android Auto compatibility. We can go to our vehicle settings. We can check out our vehicle settings. We can go to our 360 degree camera, time, and all that other jazz. So they have some nice features in here. But considering, I believe, how this car is going to be used, it, it, is, it is what it is. It could be a little bit better. It's not a touch screen. You do have to use the dial on the center console. But that's part of Aston Martin's agreement with Daimler-Benz. When Daimler-Benz made an investment in Aston, Aston got the, the Mercedes-Benz infotainment screen, but they have to put the generation, oh, one generation older than the one in the current Mercedes-Benz products into the Astons. That's part of the contract. Now, when we take a look at our backup cameras, put it in reverse, look at that. Beautiful backup camera with trajectory and 360 degree view cameras looking gorgeous nice and clear so i really like that and with a car this expensive you want to make sure you don't run into anything for sure now down below we have the carbon fiber again around the heat and air vents and this is all real carbon fiber no fake stuff 
we get to our center stack here where we have our HVAC controls where we can adjust our temperature, our fan speed. This is for the driver, this is for the passenger. You can sync them together because it's dual climate, so that's nice. You got some controls here for your uh, uh, infotainment screen. On the left here, we do have three stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. So they got you covered there. This is where you lock and unlock your doors is right up here. The locks are not on the doors. Same with your dome lighting down here as well, as well as the defrost and where you want the air to go. Now down here is where we got some serious action, right? We have our push button transmission. And with an automatic transmission and an Aston, it's always been like this. And then you have your engine start stop button looking so beautiful in the middle here, F1 edition, looking great. Four way hazards, parking sensors, camera, radio, media, traction control off, volume mute, engine auto stop, start on off. That's always going to be off in this car. Navigation telephone. Here is the dial to go through the infotainment screen. Again, all carbon fiber right here. Now, when you look at the seats, I'm going to have David go right over here, right next to him. The power seat controls are on the side of the center console for each front seat passenger. So you have power seats with memory, with side bolstering adjustments for both the front passenger and the driver. So that's where they're located. More Alcantara on your center console. You open that up and inside here, you have an area for storage. And if Dave can bend the camera over this way, you do have two USBs and an SD card, it looks like, from my angle in the center console area. Aston Martin key fob. Now, excuse the tape that's all over the key fob, but that's how the dealer has this tied onto the, the stock number and everything for the car here for sale. You have the Aston Martin logo, lock on top, unlock underneath, pop the trunk, very, very simple, nice weight, nice looking. Aston Martin steering wheel, all Alcantara on the wheel, except for the upper and the lower, which is leather. I personally am not a big fan of having the Alcantara on the area of the steering wheel that you grab because the oils in your hand kind of make the Alcantara start looking grungy after a while. Let me know what you guys think about that action. Aston Martin badge on the horn button with some smoked chrome ring around the outside flat bottom wheel of course we're in a high-end sports car wouldn't expect anything less flat black on the switch gear you can adjust your suspension settings we have your volume and we have your telephone commands and voice commands and on the right side we have the home button for your infotainment screen this is to change your drive modes we have three drive modes in the Vantage F1 edition, and it's all sport stuff, baby. Sport, sport plus, and track. Those are your three drive modes. That's it. We have huge surfboard size paddles that are on the steering column, if you can see that, and not on the wheel. So they'll always be in the same place when you want to shift. So that's nice. On the stock, you have your headlights right here and your windshield wiper uh, washer. And then down below here, we have adjustments for our headlights and our fog lamps right there. And then you can brighten and dim the dash and you have your emergency electric emergency brake. Now we come up to the dash and I love the way Aston Martin does their dashes. They just look so gorgeous where we have the all digital 12 uh, inch TFT display in here. Here's the button right over here to adjust your suspension on the bottom left as I'm moving it around from soft to more firm to firmest. And then the sport button right over here on the right side. Right now it says a red T. So you can hit it and you can go to sport. You can go to sport plus or you can go to track. And then you have more information on the left and right all in digital format which looks really really good. Love how this dash looks. And again, the binnacle, all carbon fiber, or excuse me, all Alcantara up top. Beautiful. Your overhead console with a carbon fiber roof, all you really need is some dome lighting. And we have LED dome lighting inside the Vantage. You open the door, dome LED lights come on, you close the door, LED lights go off. 
standard rear view mirror, sun visor. In a typical Aston fashion, we don't have much of a sun visor. We do have a vanity, but it does not detach or anything. It comes down about that far, which in a small, low sports car is probably going to be enough. Driver door panel, this is where you adjust your mirrors. This is where you open, obviously, the window, close the window, and this is where you pop the trunk on this Vantage. All right, getting in the trunk of your Aston Martin, like I said, you pop it from the driver's door panel, and now you can come to the back, lift up right here, up she goes, nice and beautiful. Look at the fit and finish underneath here. Looks gorgeous. 12.22 cubic feet of space in the back of this Vantage. You can also make it so it has two compartments by pushing that up. Now you can put some stuff in here, put some stuff in here, however you want to do it. Looks good. On the right side over here, we do have some lighting underneath there that's LED, and we do have some straps to help you tie things down. Here's some extras that come with the car if you're so lucky enough to be able to buy this. But with it being almost like a hatchback design, you are going to get a little bit more room here in this Vantage compared to other similar sports cars in the same price range. All right, here's our Aston Martin window sticker. We'll zoom on in. You see everything that is optioned into this absolutely gorgeous F1 Edition Vantage. Feel free to pause the video, check things out. There's our option list. There's our total vehicle MSRP. There's our fuel economy numbers. Made in Great Britain. Let's take her out for a spin. We're in the Vantage, we're in the parking lot, of course, because we can't take this out on the street, considering how valuable this car is. So we're just going to give you a couple of demos of how this thing is going to handle and feel uh, here in the parking lot. But before we get started, great visibility out of the windshield. Side view mirrors look good. The back window, surprisingly, even with the wing, is pretty good as well. Now we got this baby in track. So we get the loudest experience of the exhaust here in this Vantage. And so we'll see how she does. Three, two, one. Unbelievable. Typical Aston Martin Vantage uh, fashion. They just make such a good sports car, and they always have. And this F1 Vantage is no different. This thing is just a total beast. Now, obviously, people are going to say, we're going to try the paddles here, see how these things work. In the parking lot, it might not work well. Hard to say. We'll give it a try. Now, when you pull both paddles in together, just so you know, you put the car in neutral. So now we're back in drive, and here we go. Look out. You hear the way those shifts just fire off? How quick on the upshift, quick on the downshift, just crazy fast. Crazy fast. Give you some handling demo. Look at how quick this car is so quick to respond to your steering inputs. It's incredible. You want to talk about a turning radius? Watch this.
Turning radius time in three, two, one. Look at that action. I mean, this thing is crazy good. Crazy good! 186K for all this fun. What do you think? Sell all your cars and buy this Vantage? <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. We're going to do a little brake test. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put this back into regular uh, drive to let the transmission shift for itself. And then we'll get it up to speed and we'll hit the anchors. Three, two, one. Crazy good on the brakes as well. You can see it just throws the anchors out and boom, you stop right away. Just crazy, crazy good stuff here in this Aston Martin Vantage. And that's what Aston Martin's all about, is making sports cars. They are the best sports car maker in the world, in my opinion. And they have done an unbelievable job with this F1 edition and it's 186k now for a regular vantage that's a bit expensive but for everything you get in here this is highly competitively priced with some of the other high-end super sports cars for sure highly competitively priced Just crazy good. But anyway, what do you guys think about this Vantage? Is this the kind of sports car, if you had the, the bank, that you would want to pick up? Or are you going to hunker down and stick with mass market vehicles? Uh, you know, it's, it's one of these deals where monetized buyers are going to have be able to afford this because they're going to use this as a weekend track car most likely and not drive it around as a daily driver because it's certainly not equipped to be a daily driver but it's certainly equipped to be a super fun car on the weekend but let me know what you guys think about this vantage what you like what you dislike i think it's a fantastic package for what it's designed for but i want to thank fc kerbeck aston martin in Palmyra, New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this Aston Martin Vantage F1 edition for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care everyone.